Wait, small wave spawner. I am going to get. Uh, you can do this with terrain or with mesh. It really doesn't matter. Um, just drop something like that. Create a player. Just has some an idea. Anyways, I'm just gonna line up the camera so we can see it in this view. So I'm gonna mark this as static so I can bake a nav mesh. So <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate a AI of a, a fake AI. Right, I'm gonna just create a cube and I'm gonna give him a color just to make it pretty. How about a mean red? And I'm gonna give him a nav mesh agent. Just like that. So we want a spawn manager. And I'm going to use a spawn point. So the spawn points are going to stick, you know, roughly close to the surface. And I'm going to give him a tag called spawn point. And I'm going to just put a couple around, like say that, three of them. And then to keep it organized, I'm going to child them to the spawn manager. So the spawn manager needs an event. To start the wave. And we also need a population limit. For now, I'll put it to uh, I'll go 10, but it'll be 10 per, per spawn point. Or, or you can do 10 in total. It depends how you want to set this up. So when we get that, the other thing we want is I'm going to put an array proxy from array maker. Give it a reference of AI and hold on, I'm also going to make another array in here called spawn points. And on start, find game objects by tag spawn points and the tag we're looking for is spawn well it has to be a variable spawn point all right so it needs to be a variable apparently not a biggie Oh, now it doesn't. Oh yeah, that was weird. So, <coughs> what do we need to do to start the wave? Well, the wave starts. What do we want to happen? I am going to just let's 
school of ray get next. Let's go to each spawn point. We're gonna loop, and we have a done, and we have a result of our current spawn point. Loop, done. So on the loop, what do we want to do? Actually, you know what? We want to put the start wave over here. We don't want it here. So on the loop, we want to, and, and if you have an array, um, right, and, and this way, if you want, you know, 10 different AI, you can have it, right? So now we can array get random from the AI list, store as selected AI. And we're going to get position, no, we want to create want to create the selected AI at the current spawn point store it and then we want to add to this reference that created AI. So I was going to do that all. So, actually, let's put that right here. So, we're going to loop again. And when it's done. it's here <clears throat> right so now let's just test it oh <clears throat> this is there's one more thing we want to add here so when you create the AI the other thing you want to do is I'm just creating it at the spawn point and that's really not a good method. You're better off to get the position of that current spawn point. and then sample nav mesh. And this will make sure that the position found is gonna be on the nav mesh. All right, so the source is that. Give a little bit of a distance and then Now you don't want them all in the same spot. 
So we're going to do a random vector, or random float, sorry. Two of those. Let's go like negative 5 by 5, call it x. Negative 5 by 5, call it z. Underneath the get position, once we have the position, So it's after we get the position, but before the sample. We want that position. We're going to add the X and we're going to add the Z. And that'll give us a random point around those spawn points on the nav mesh. All right, so let's test that. There we go. Now we have a whole bunch of those. And if you look at our, we have a whole bunch of these happening, right? So <coughs> let's, let's make this looping. Let's go in here. get owner and we're going to store this as a global uh, we don't have a global it's a new global AI spawn manager and now on these on the actual AI when it dies or whatever the case may be I'm going to use a disable we're going to get owner in this one self and we're going to remove from the list so we need to select our AI spawn manager the reference is AI Type is the game object, and we're removing ourself. Just like that. So in this, once we once we're here, what if we do this? A array list. Count. So we have AI. And the count is and I don't think this is every frame. So if we're equal, we are completed. If we're greater, we keep going. And if we're completed, let's do a wait. Uh, well, for now, five seconds. And send event. In this case, I'm just going to tell this thing to more or less loop and start wave. If we're going to keep going, though, I'm going to just do a next frame. And go back. All right, so now. All right, I'll start the system off just to start with. And if I start deactivating these, I can look in the spawn manager and our current count, actually I'll, I'll put that up right out here so we can see it. Current count is 28. 
hour 21. All right, so now we only have one left. And if I deactivate this one, we're gonna go to a wait, and we're gonna spawn a bunch more. Just like that, right? And then it, it's as easy as going, well, let's go 20. You know, and you get that much more. And those are randomly selected AI, right? They're coming from a, a list. So if you have 10 different AI, then it's really not gonna matter. You can spawn all sorts of different things. And I just have this on a loop, right? Um, so when it's completed, I mean, at this stage in time, you can be like, okay, we've finished a level, do something else or switch scenes, whatever. You know, at start wave, that could be right right from the start you can just drag this over here um right and not even have this you know or maybe it's when your player enters a certain spot you send a you send a um an event to for this to happen You know, and then the other thing you, you could do, like in, in this case anyways, is we have, we're using pop limit for more or less a, uh, I don't know, random int, right? Maybe every time we're gonna do a loop, we're gonna go anywhere from five to 12 and set that into the pop limit. Let's bring this down to three. Right, so if I deactivate those, you know, now we have a, we have a different amount coming up. It, it shows a lot less this particular time. You know, and this here, I, like I said, I've just got it on, on the on the disable. This doesn't need to be on the, the, the disable. I mean, if you have health, and then once the health hits zero, you do this, right? That's that's all that matters is this happens, right? Um, what causes this? You can be anything. Maybe the AI gets too far away from the player, and this happens. Whatever. So anyways, that is a basic AI spawning system. Right, and you can extend these out, and you can put as many of these out as you want now. It is a flexible system in that aspect. It picks up on it, and it will deal with it. So, there you go. Short and sweet.